welcome to Lisa's Lair. I'm glad that you found this channel and that you wanted to click into the video and Happy New Year to everyone. I'm glad that uh, this is another year to have a new second life and I had a video already made that I hope you'll click into it about what you're going to do differently in second life this year. So please feel free to put some comments on that video. One thing that I think I'll do in 2018 is I'll leave behind um, my classic avatar and I'll actually get a bento avatar. I have one from Altamira. It's called Jenny and I got it and I tried it but it's not working for me. Um, so if you have that same one uh, which was a gift they gave away, shout out to Altamira. That's a wonderful gift um, to give out. Um, if you have that one, put that in the comment section and I'll ask you some questions in world about it um, so that I can figure out how to put a brown skin on that one. It's not Omega friendly though, so that's different than some of the other bento avatars that they have in the store. The topic of this particular video is what are some of the ways that you feel being in a virtual world has advanced your life outside of the virtual world? Um, so put those comments below. I think it's a good discussion because many Second Life residents, um, particularly older Second Life residents, mention that people just don't know anything about virtual worlds. I certainly didn't until five, six years ago uh, when I came into Second Life. I didn't know that there was a community. I thought that a virtual Virtual um, world was a video game and that you had to play something. There were points or a competition. I didn't realize that it was um, a, just a social um, platform where you can just show up and interact with other people. So I'm sure there's probably many other older adults who didn't know that either. Anyone who would ask me how the virtual space involvement will impact your life outside of um, the virtual space. I would probably say, of course, the social element. You're meeting people from all over the world if you choose to. Um, you are able to learn about what is going on all over the world from people who are actually there, which is different than reading the news, watching the news, uh, reading things online. You're really able to engage one-on-one. -on -one. So I think if you choose to do that, that's um, something that you can do. And you're able to impact other people in this virtual space. Um, there is one particular sim um, that um, people who are learning English go to and they learn to practice their English. And people who are English uh, speakers um, go to that sim and they just have conversations with people who are trying to learn to be fluent in English and they want to um, learn from those of us who've been speaking English since we were born and you correct them they want to be corrected they want to have normal conversations in English and they're there just um, to get um, some assistance with their English by actually speaking so those are some of the types of opportunities I think in a virtual space that you won't find um, offline as easily also everyone already knows there's some live concerts um, from musicians and I think that's so important for people who don't have a recording contract or maybe they're just performing in their own city you're able to really experience the talent of so many of these people um, who really do not um, sing or play outside of their own city or outside of their own region and you're able to to experience that so I think those are some of the types of things that enhance you as a person when you have exposure to that Another way that I think being in a virtual space enhances your life outside of the virtual space is that I've noticed some people who are Second Life residents, they get to be a certain personality and they get to display a certain personality that maybe they feel they're not able to in um, their own lives away from the keyboard and so they're able to show more sides of themselves in uh, this virtual space that maybe they feel um, timid showing or maybe because of cultural norms or uh, gender norms or um, things like that they don't actually believe that they can show the full range of who they are um, in 
their own lives away from the keyboard and so second life gives them that opportunity to do that and maybe that's why some people have alts I'm not quite sure I haven't gotten into um, alts but um, some people have a lot I met one person who said um, that she had at least 35 different alts in Second Life. I don't have the time um, to be in Second Life um, that much where I would have 35 different avatars. If someone was an older adult and said, oh, I just don't know if I should join Second Life. I don't know what's in there for me. I don't know how that um, would be a productive use of my time. Other than explaining it as a social um, social network similar to Facebook but just with avatars put be, put comments below in terms of how you would describe it um, for people um, who are um, older adults who don't know anything about virtual worlds and what would you tell them would be um, reason enough for them to really make an investment in learning how to navigate Second Life because there is a learning curve I didn't even know how to move my avatar I'm still having problems with that five years later sometimes um, and then also also just using the camera I'm still figuring out how to use that there are some technical things that um, people who um, like second second life uh, the idea of it the concept of it um, but they're not sure if they would be able to navigate all the technical stuff there is there is a, a lot to learn in terms of that so put below what you would uh, tell them hopefully there are some um, older adults who are seeing these videos on Second Life or just stumbled on my video channel and um, you know they're watching videos and wondering well should I come back into Second Life or should I even try uh, Second Life because I've seen a lot of intro to Second Life videos but they're not really videos that are geared towards the older adults um, so this is your opportunity put below the ways that you feel being in, in a virtual space um, will enhance your life outside of this virtual space. I think that's a great discussion to have. And if you have other topics that you would like for me to address on this channel in future videos, feel free to put those suggestions below. I'll be watching the comment section and hope that uh, since you've spent the time with me watching this video that you'll add to the conversation below. Thank you for visiting Lisa's Lair and come on back and watch more videos.